Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in all data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding super cloud customer using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Microsoft interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, a Microsoft Azure super cloud customer is a company which buys at least one product from each product category write a query to report the company id which is the which is a super cloud customer so basically you are given one table customer contracts with three different columns customer id product id and amount and here is an example of that so customer id one and two and the product that they bought these are the product ids the amount right and then there is another table products with three different columns product id product category and product name and this is an example so basically there are three different product categories analytics containers and compute so if you look at it and here like it, this is kind of a mistyping uh, that you know it should be one two three four five six uh, and if you go by that, then customer ID one has bought one, three and five, right? So one is belongs to analytics category. Three is going to be this one, right? Again, as I said, this should be three, not four. So three is containers and five is going to be this one compute. So customer ID one has brought at least one product from each of the analytics containers and compute category. However, if you look at uh, customer ID two, so bought two and six, right? So two is analytics category, six is going to be compute category, but uh, customer ID two did not buy anything from containers category. So the only thing that is going to be in the output is customer ID one. So basically, since the information that you want, right? So these are the customer contracts, these are the product IDs and the product category is in another table. So the first thing that we should do is we should join this information so that the entire information is at one place. So what we can do is, from this table called customer contacts contracts aliased as c right let's left to join the products table aliased as p on c dot product id is equal to p dot product id right uh, let's keep all the columns from customer table or customer contracts table right and in the products table we are only required you know we are only concerned about product category product id is already there in this con customer contracts table and product name we are not we don't require that a lot so we can you know just keep the relevant information so we can write p dot product category right okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting right product is okay cool uh, let me run this so now we have you know different customer ids different product id and the app product category that they belong to now what we need to do is we need to find out all those customers who have bought at least one product from each of the product category right and we need to make it generalized so here you can see that okay in the example there are only three product categories but it is possible that in the test cases or you know further down the road there are more than you know three product categories there is another product category no one knows right so we need to write a solution that is generalized so what we can do is we can store this entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as and this entire thing goes into parentheses and then what we can do is right then what we can do is we can group by the customer id and make sure that the count of distinct product categories that you have for each customer is equal to the total number of distinct categories that are actually available in the product table right so what i mean by that is what i'm saying is from this common table expression right from this common table expression we need to find out that which of customers which all customers bought at least one thing from each product category right so if i say group by customer id so since we are required to check this for each customer right now having right having count of distinct product category right count of distinct product category so what will this do so it will say okay customer id one uh, how many rows you have one two uh, three right so it will make this one group 
and it will find okay so the customer id one has bought one product from analytics one from compute uh, and one from analytics so basically two from analytics and one from compute right so this is what it is going to do group by customer id and it will count having count of distinct product category should be equal to the total number of distinct product categories that are available in the products table so we need to write return then count of distinct product category from products table right so now it will look at okay so products table has three different like if we take this example right product table has three different product categories analytics containers compute however customer id one only has bought you know at least one product from two different categories right so analytics and you know compute so that is a problem right because you know that we that is that does not qualify them to be a super cloud customer so that is why we are filtering based on an aggregate value here that having we you know only keep those rows where count of distinct product category is equal to the count of total distinct product categories that are actually available in the products table right so once you keep those rows just return the customer id right that is what we require in the output so yeah i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are getting so there is only one customer customer id 7 which has bought at least one product from each of the product category let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how you do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know firstly we identified that from customer contracts table what all product category each of the product you know belongs to and then we made sure that we are you know filtering based on an aggregate value and in that case having should be used not where clause so having count of distinct product category in each of the customer id should be equal to the total number of distinct product categories that are actually available and for those customers just return the customer customer id so yeah this is how you do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video